What is up everyone, Kenny KO back with another video and guess what guys, we officially reached the 30,000 subscriber milestone that I've been trying to get for a long time and I can't say thank you enough to everyone that supports the channel, either comments, likes the videos, interacts with me on other forms of social media and the giveaway like I said for the SARM S23 was going to be given out once we reach that 30,000 subscriber uh, milestone. So the winner of the contest that commented is Joseph Allen. I will email you and then you can send me all your shipping information and I'll go ahead and ship that out for you as soon as possible. Also guys, I'm going to be doing a very big giveaway if we ever get to the 50,000 subscriber milestone. So that's going to be the next mark that I'm going to try and hit. So if you guys want that big giveaway, make sure to share the channel. I appreciate everything you guys do so much. But without further ado, one of my subscribers and followers left a comment of a cyclist that has some pretty insane legs. So let's go ahead and jump over to it. Now some of you have probably seen uh, videos or pictures of this German cyclist. His name is Robert Forstemann. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say his last name. Um, there's a couple funny puns though. Is He's a police officer. Like I said, he's a cyclist. Um, no pun intended in the cyclist because, let's be honest, he's probably most likely not natural. Um, I'm just going to put this out there now, guys. For those of you that are either new into the fitness industry or bodybuilding community or sports world, it's very common for professional athletes to be taking t-ball. Um, that's what John Jones of the UFC was caught with and failed his drug test with. And it's very hard to get caught with it. Why? Because it's in and out of your system within a couple of days. So T-ball, and it's especially good for performance athletes like cyclists that don't want to put on a ton of size, but just want muscle endurance and strength. That's why a lot of UFC fighters will take it, football players, etc. Um, so it's very possible that he is on some type of cycle, along with being a professional cyclist. So as you guys can see though from this picture, ginormous quads. That's what this guy is known for probably more than his cyclist career is how big his quads are. He also has a pretty insane overall physique. You can see the vascularity, the muscle condition, the proportions, the full muscle bellies. He brings really a whole package, but like I said, he's very well known for his legs. He also is pretty strong. We'll go ahead and watch a squat video. His legs are extremely powerful, obviously being a professional cyclist. And as you can see from the video description, the squat is 240 kilograms. Not sure what the pounds is for that in the, you guys in the US. I just like the sound. I don't know why he had to do it so slow motion. Though. This is a little bit cringe. He should have just done a full motion. I also don't know if he's doing a stack hold or it's just that slow motion. He got great depth, but I mean, if I saw someone with that size quads, I would probably expect him to be able to squat this amount of weight. Here's another squat video, guys. You can see him doing the no hands. This guy definitely puts a lot of emphasis on legs, which is why he has the leg size that he does. Moving down farther, you guys can just see how enormous his legs are. Personally, I think it looks strange because they're disproportionate to the rest of his body. He has like these two tree trunks that are probably the size of Phil Heath's. Like, no lie, this guy could have IFBB Pro legs and Olympia stage legs. Um, but his upper body is just not on par with his lower body. And granted, you know, it's his career, he's a cyclist, so I understand, you know, when you have the different goal and mindset, you know, your body is really gonna form to what you're striving to do. And his is all about leg power and speed, so it makes sense. You can see here, he's got the conditioning, vascularity, uh, vascularity that I'm extremely jealous of, not gonna lie. But yeah, I didn't know if you guys have heard of Robert or not, or know of him, or maybe you've seen videos or pictures of him thrown around through Instagram and YouTube and whatnot and all the other social media outlets out there. But I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys some insight, just see how ginormous one's individual legs can get without having an extremely big upper body. Not discrediting him, he has a great overall physique, but the legs are just top notch over the top. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So like I said, once we hit that 50,000 subscriber milestone, I'm going to be doing a ginormous giveaway. Make sure you don't miss out on that. As always, make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic, signing out.